disappointments and distress and all kinds of heartache will come to an end and we will be removed from the realm of death and sin. I thought somebody should say amen to that. That is our blessed hope. It should cause in us excitement. But of late, someone made a statement, he made a, a, a remark that when you talk about the coming of the Lord Jesus, it looks as if those of us who things are going very well, <laughs> those of us who things are not bad, we are not too much enthused by his coming. But the truth is that we should be excited. One of my perplexing questions um, has been the problem of godly people suffering. And uh, the death of young people. Many times I sit and I ask myself, when will this end? When you visit the hospitals and you see people somebody I met at the hospital his hair, his, his feet has been hanging for one year one year the feet is hanging with, with metals some medication big, big medical bills we've prayed and prayed and prayed and at times you wonder and when those times come then those who are in pain those who are in constant pain they cry that the Lord should come the Lord should come I will never forget the day I traveled to Tepa to console one of the evangelism uh, evangelism guys he, he just he was the only son of the parents he got married he was a ministerial candidate and on an evangelism week he was traveling to a, 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 a rally and was crushed by a drunken driver and died 40 days after his wedding 40 days after his wedding and i said lord jesus christ please save us from this the pain is too much we pray and we should get excited that one day these things will end. Oh no. excited that this day will come what about a sister in one of the towns in eastern region who was having a wedding and at the time of the time of um, saying the vows the husband complained that I'm not feeling well they rushed the husband to the vestry and it was not getting right so they decided to take him to the hospital he never came back this lady started from the house with excitement this lady it was the best day of her life in her white garment she came back a widow that is why i'm saying that for those of us who believe it is not an escapist theory it is the fact that at times this world and its its problems causes our heart to desire that jesus Will come. What about the woman at Asante Mampon recently who lost four of her children on the same day? 
when, when some of these things happen then those who are going through want that this thing of pain and sorrow will come to an end it will come to an end when the lord comes he will wipe away our tears he will wipe away our tears what about the persecuted church what about our brothers and sisters who are being slaughtered who, they are being slaughtered and at times when I, I, I watch the video clips, my heart cries and says, Lord, come, Maranatha, come, come, come. But our excitement is also that one day we will hear from the master, well done, faithful and good servant. And please, that is predicated on whether you have done well. Well done will not be said to everybody. It will be said to those who have done well, who have remained faithful, and who have been servants. Well done, faithful servant. Not everybody. It is for those who have done well.